Big news, today is the day. This is the day that the 6th Gen 4Runner will officially be announced, but it looks like we got a little teaser this morning. This morning, um, the editor at Forbes must have put the wrong date and time in because he posted and leaked the new 4Runner photos, and we've got a lot of information off of their article. Yeah, it looks like the editor at Forbes might have made just a little mistake and put AM instead of PM. And so we don't know if that was intentional or an accident. Looks like it could have just been an accident. But the article has since been removed by Forbes. But luckily, there was a Reddit poster that screenshotted the entire article. And so we can see the photos and the article online. We'll go ahead and link that down below. Based on the photos and the article being taken down, I think this is probably legitimate. It seems to us like this is a real leak and these are actual press release photos. This article gave us a lot of really good information of what to expect on the new Forerunner. The first things that will be confirmed, not only the, that we will have a trail hunter, but that the limited trim is coming back. Also, we will see on the new Forerunner that we'll have a sway bar disconnect available on certain models, as well as a locking center differential. A couple of days ago, I was talking about liking to see some more off-road capability parts on these, this newer generation, and I think Toyota's really delivered. So it looks like Quicksand Tan is back on the new TRD Pro, one of our favorite colors. I'm super excited about it. And in the leaked photos, we can see there is a press release TRD Pro 4Runner in the Quicksand Tan. So I'm not sure if it's going to be a TRD Pro only color. I kind of think that's what they're hinting at with the TRD Pro being the only one we've seen in this color but Quick Santan is back. So are you guys excited? Are you guys gonna pick up a Quick Santan? What are your thoughts on, on bringing Quick Santan back? Personally, Quick Santan is my favorite color that Toyota has ever come out with. I remember looking at it on the Tacomas and the previous generation of 4Runner and absolutely loving it. I'm totally stoked that it's coming out on the 4Runner and I hope that they do it on the Tacoma as well. So that's actually a really good point. I mean, this could be a new TRD Pro Color for 2025. So is it possible we're going to get Quicksand again for the Tacoma? Maybe the 2025 Tacoma Quicksand Tan is the new TRD Pro Color. Is that going to be an option for Tacoma? I'd love to see that. I also noticed that this teal color that they're doing, I don't think we have an official name for it. We've mentioned previously that it's similar to a previous Tacoma color. But is this going to be another option for TRD Pro Colors this next year? Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, it looks like it's a trail hunter that we're seeing that color on in the new photos, but we don't know for sure if the trail hunters are going to share some of the TRD Pro colors. So that's something that I'm really curious about is this new teal color we're seeing on the trail hunter. Are we going to get quicksand as an available color for the trail hunter? Are the TRD Pro colors going to be available for trail hunters and our trail hunter colors going to be available for the TRD Pro? Something I'm kind of curious about. Yeah, I thought a lot about that as well. So much like the Tacoma Trail Hunter, the new 4Runner looks like it has a lot of add-ons. It's been confirmed that it has a two and a half inch lift on 33 inch tires. It comes stock with a snorkel, rock sliders, and a roof rack. And I'm sure that there's more on the inside to be delivered. On the Tacoma, they had a air compressor. I'm sure we'll see that on the 4Runner as well. Honestly, I think that this new line of Trail Hunters is the bridge between the Overlanders and kind of like the rock crawlers that like to because we kind of have a different zone here they've really tailored this trail hunter for overlanders yeah it's exciting to see toyota kind of branching into that overland market a little bit more and it is really exciting to see a forerunner trail hunter trim so a lot of people with the fifth gen right now are making modifications to fit 33s so it's really exciting to see now we have the option to get a trail hunter trim that comes stock with 33s and rock sliders. I'm really excited to see if they do put an onboard air compressor where that's gonna be at. I kind of think in the back hatch area, you know, you've got that little storage compartment on the fifth gen 4Runner right by your wheel well on the right side. I'm wondering if that's gonna be where the built-in air compressor on the Trail Hunter will be. So I guess we'll see. So based on the photos that we've received up until this point, we know what the TRD Pro is gonna look like. We know what the Trail Hunter will look like as well as the new Limited. We're not really sure what the TRD Off-Road or Off-Road Premium, as well as the SR5 is gonna look like. But the new 4Runner really goes along with Toyota's new generation well. It fits that angular design, the new updated features in the front, updated LED headlights versus the halogen ones from the previous generation. I think that Toyota has really taken this next 4Runner 
into the newer generation. So yeah, I mean, it does. It looks a lot like the new Sequoia, which is something we speculated about, is what is the front end going to look like? And it does look a lot like the Sequoia, which leads me to think it's probably going to have the same powertrain as the Tacoma, because that's something Toyota has moved towards, is making the 4Runner a smaller Sequoia and the Tacoma a smaller Tundra. So that looks like what we're going to end up with. But so far, like you're saying, we've seen a Trail Hunter, we've seen a TRD Pro, we've seen a Limited. We don't really know for sure what the SR5 or TRD Opera look like. One thing we did notice about the TRD Pro is that it's completely blacked out. That's something I know a lot of people commented on, seeing that Heritage Blue photo that was released is all that chrome. But we can see from this photo now, TRD Pro does come completely blacked out. I mean, even the badging, oh. everything is black on the new TRD Pro. Black fenders, black badging, black wheels. Oh, I mean, Looks great. it's answered all of what we wanted. We've all spent time blacking out ours, and I think Toyota's finally done it for us. So Derek, you own the previous generation of 4Runner right now. How do you think that the new look of this one compares to the previous generation? So yeah, I mean, I have a fifth gen 4Runner, and I love the fifth gen 4Runner. I love the way that it looks, and I know a lot of people are kind of on the fence about whether or not they're gonna like the look of the sixth gen 4Runner, and I love it. I think it's awesome. I've really loved the look of the new Sequoia for a long time. I followed a lot of accounts with the new Sequoia, and I love the way, I love the way that it looks. I love the front end, I love the grill, I love the headlights, everything about it I think looks awesome. So personally, looks wise, I am super excited. I've even watched a lot of people swap the front ends of their Tacoma over to the grill style of the Sequoia, and I even think that's a cool look. So I'm, I'm just excited. Yeah, I think that this new upgrade in all of Toyota's off-road department the last few years has been a total upgrade on the previous generation. Their models had been around for a very long time and not that there was anything wrong with them. I'm personally so, so, so in love with the third gen Tacoma. I think it's one of the most beautiful trucks ever made, but I think that they have done a great job of making the new 4Runner and the new Tacoma and the new Tundra, still the Tacoma 4Runner and Tundra, but just the updated version that gives us more features and a slightly newer, better look. So some of you saw that post we made from Auto Ya that was a bunch of rendered interior photos. And we ended up not really wanting to keep the post up because we didn't know for sure if those were gonna be legitimate. And looking at the press release photos, they were 100% accurate. <laughs> so we had an actual leak that we didn't realize was a leak of photos of the actual interior of the Foreigner. So there are some big changes to the interior. What do you guys think about these interior changes? I think they look pretty awesome. Um, I'm a big fan, I know you are too, of the 14 inch display. I think it's a big upgrade, especially because a lot of people kind of felt like the fifth gen Forerunner interior was a little bit outdated. You know, it was 2000s kind of style and a lot of people still loved it, but it needed a little bit of a tech upgrade and I think we've got that now in the sixth gen Forerunner. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I know personally I love the new upgraded features that come in these new cars, but we really do want to know what you guys think. One thing that was really refreshing to see coming from the new 4Runner is that I feel like it really meets the younger generation. It fits the target market of the 4Runner owner. Um, we love the off-road features. We love the angles and that more aggressive look. I would have hated to see it take kind of more of like a bigger mom SUV like they've previously been made fun of for, but I really think this new generation gives proof that these things are real, true, blue ribbon off-roaders. I think a lot of people are going to be on the fence at first about the way that it looks because they're so used to the fifth gen, but just like with the Tacoma and the Tundra, I think after a couple weeks, everyone's going to kind of feel the same. Like This new look is sleek. It's got sharp edges, it looks really mean and aggressive, and I already love it. So I think these are gonna be popular, and I think you're totally right. I think they, they did a really good job of avoiding making it look like a mom van. And it's got a nice, mean, aggressive look. So this with a couple 35-inch tires and some offset and roof rack, it's gonna look, it's gonna be pretty sweet. I mean, honestly, it was about time for an update. I remember reading a comment just the other day of a guy that said, when the, this previous generation of 4Runner came out, he was six months away from his 16th birthday, and now he's just a few months away from his 30th. So if that doesn't tell you how long this previous generation had been out, um, I really think it was time for an update. That's funny, because I actually, I totally remember seeing these in high school and thinking, these were, this is it. This is the coolest thing that existed back in 2010. 
And so it's been a long time. Toyota's had a long time to make these adjustments to the 4Runner. And I think a lot of us are excited to see the things they've kept the same, and we're really excited to see what they've changed. Okay, guys, be sure to stay tuned to our Instagram and YouTube. Toyota will be officially revealing the 4Runner tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern time, and we will be getting you guys coverage on all of that. We will give you any updates that we get in the meantime. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below.